Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, August 17 to 19 and this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our uh, latest graph set for today, Wednesday until tomorrow, Thursday. We have the uh, southwest release and the uh, southwest monsoon is still prevailing across the country. And uh, it is enhanced by uh, three low pressure systems. These are weak ones. The two is starting to dissipate. 94W making landfall over southern China, while 95W making uh, its way across uh, the southern islands of Japan and Okinawa area and is uh, cloudless, dissipating. While to the south of its uh, circulation, we have another 96W, a low pressure area which developed from the uh, southern circulation of 95W and uh, it's uh, still enhancing some cloudiness. These are thick thunderstorm clouds across the central Philippine Sea and uh, it will bring rains and thunderstorms as this LPA moves across Taiwan and into uh, southern China within the next couple of days. So this uh, cloudiness of the southwest release and the southwest monsoon will move into northern Luzon. So expect isolated to scattered to sometimes widespread rains and thunderstorms will be expected within the next 24 hours. Outside of power, we are keeping an eye on another LPA. This is 93W, which developed near Chuk Island in the uh, central Micronesia. This is an area of interest, especially early next week, because the European model, not the American model, is de developing this system into a tropical cyclone. And uh, based on what we saw on the track, it will move like this and traverse extreme northern Luzon. So we will keep an eye on this, particularly early next week, and we will be issuing updates via YouTube and uh, Facebook channel on the uh, development of this uh, potential uh, cyclone this is 93w as of this time still a low pressure area with uh, disorganized cloudiness here is the zoom in subtle animation so you can clearly see here the uh, cloudiness of the southwest release and the southwest monsoon bringing some rains and thunderstorms across uh, northern luzon while the lpa is uh, approaching the uh, coastal areas of eastern Taiwan is expected to move towards the west. Okay, and uh, the zoom in solar animation from windy.com. You can clearly see here the large areas of thunderstorms affecting Luzon, including portions of central Luzon. More frequent over the uh, mountains of Benguet and uh, mountain province as well, the Locos region and uh, Visayas as well and uh, Mindanao will also have rain showers and thunderstorms now if we take a look at the rain forecast including thunderstorms and uh, wind pressure here's the forecast for tomorrow afternoon Thursday more thunderstorms are in store across uh, Luzon including Bicol region Visayas and Mindanao Friday afternoon again thunderstorms will be expected across uh, various sections of Luzon, including uh, central, particularly central Luzon and the southern Tagalog provinces, including Metro Manila, portions of Bicol region, Visayas, and Mindanao. Here is a cloud in, here's the cloudiness of the uh, southwesterly or southwest monsoon, southwesterly wind flow moving into the West Philippine Sea. And if we take a look on Saturday, Still, more thunderstorms will be expected in various sections of Luzon, uh, Visayas, and also Mindanao. Here's that, here's that LPA 93W that we are going to uh, observe in the coming days. Now, let's uh, take a look at the uh, wind forecast for you to see what will be the f movement of that LPA. Sunday, it will enter PAR as an active low pressure area. It's a, quite a large system. Maybe it's a monsoon depression, but it will uh, start to uh, uh, consolidate and become a conventional tropical depression. On Monday afternoon, it could become a uh, tropical depression to the east of Isabela. And uh, on uh, Thursday... On Tuesday afternoon, it will be moving closer towards the uh, Cagayan area. 
as a tropical depression. Wednesday, it will traverse uh, Kalayan and Babu and Kubab Islands as a uh, tropical depression or even a tropical storm. So expect some windy conditions or tropical storm force winds over this area. Okay. And on Thursday, August 25, it will move out into the West Philippine Sea. Now let's take a look at the green. Okay. That's the European model. So during the passage of that uh, potential tropical depression or tropical storm, uh, the areas of northern Luzon, particularly Ilocos region and the Cordillera Autonomous region will expect some rains and thunderstorms because of the rain bands of uh, this LPA 93W which is likely to become a tropical cyclone by next week. So we are focusing on the European model since the American model is uh, not accurate when it comes to medium to long range forecast that's why when the european models forecast a uh, tropical cyclone in medium to long range uh, time span the probability is quite uh, high or medium to high so right now it's still at 30 uh, percent probability so we will keep you updated particularly this weekend if that uh, low pressure system to the southwest of Guam will eventually become a tropical cyclone and affect northern Luzon by uh, next week, probably Wednesday. So we'll keep you updated on that. Again, uh, before we leave you, here's the latest global tropics hazards and benefits outlook of the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. For week one, let me put it back here. August 17 to August 23, there you go. This is now the uh, potential uh, tropical cyclone at 50% probability. Uh, and uh, along the area of northern Luzon and Taiwan. And uh, also a 50% probability of above average rainfall or medium chance across the whole of the Philippine Islands because of that potential uh, tropical cyclone. Week 2, valid August 24 to August 30. We have again another 50% of medium probability of a tropical cyclone development or tropical cyclone formation to the south of Japan or east of Taiwan, uh, quite uh, far from the Philippine Islands. And so far, that's the latest. And uh, we will return on Friday to give you more updates on the weather, particularly that 93W, which is eyeing to become the sixth tropical cyclone for August. It's been too late already since usually letter E and F comes during the months of uh, June, late. Uh, and sometimes it extends until uh, July, but so far it's already middle of August. So we are really into a scarcity of tropical cyclone formation because of the ongoing La Nina. So we will keep an eye on that 93W when we return on Friday. Again, this is Mike Paddy reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with the wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.